It's Friday. It's gonna be my birthday tomorrow, but that's not gonna stop us from building. I just woke up, gonna take a shower. Let's get started. <sighs> now that I'm clean, let's go grab some coffee. Hey,我要外带可以吗?我穿裸布去穿的。谢谢啊。好,谢谢你。I'm pretty sure the barista knows that I'm a foreigner because of my Chinese accent. But look, the cup looks real cute. So have a nice day. Oh my god. You know, on days like this, or the weather is nice outside. You know, sometimes I'm just I'm just on the mid tour. That's why I decided to go for a place that's further than usual to get coffee. But I'll be home soon. Let's go home. Okay, we made it back, let's get started. We're finally here, but I'm gonna take a few seconds of your time because I wanna thank you guys for the support that you've given. And if some of you even told me that I leaked some sensitive information. Here's an actual footage of me trying to fix the problem. And again, I just wanna say thank you. I'm so glad that you guys are also enjoying this progress, even though my room looks very dead and it's very boring. And all you get to see are these white walls and me just hammering away at a keyboard. Today, what we're going to try to do, we're going to try and integrate our backend servers to be able to post and get user access token from Instagram and Facebook's Graph API. I find something to be very confusing. I tried it over the week. I put in a bit of work, but I still couldn't get it going. So yeah, we're going to continue to hammer on that problem today. All right, let's get started. I learned that there are two ways of securing a data that you're storing in your database. One is called hashing and the other is called encryption. So when you're hashing, it's usually good for data that will not be reused and will be stored like dead stock in your database. That means it's not gonna be pulled out, it's not gonna be used by another for an API call or anything, and it's a one-way encryption. So usually when the user enters data from the front end, we're gonna pass it in into the data into the hashing algorithm and add some salt into it, which is some kind of a passphrase for one one-way encryption. And then we're gonna have a hashtag and then we're gonna save it into the database. So every time our user enters a password, we can also hash that password and then we can check if the result of that hashed entered password is the same as the one we've saved in the database. That's the secure way. And then the second is encryption. So what we're going to have two keys generated. One is the encryption key and one is the decryption key. And I think I'm going to store it in a secure database like HashiCloud storage or something. In my use case, I'm going to get an access token, right? And then we're going to encrypt the access token into a cipher text and we're going to save it to the database. After, let's say a user wants to make an API call, we're going to get that access token from the database 
database in the form of the ciphertext again. And then we're going to get the decryption key and then we can use that to upload content. But after understanding this, I think the encryption and decryption process should be a middleware because we can call that function anytime we need. I also have this server repository structure. So we have routes, utilities, configs, controllers, and middleware. It's really self-explanatory. It's really easy to understand. A little bit of a progress update. I, um, I've set up some test accounts. I just found out that I need to do that to actually try and test the OAuth and the hosting feature. So we just got done with that and we are going to try implementing the login, the business login. We got it! Let's go! The OAuth page is showing up. And it turns out we both have the same OAuth login. So I guess it's OAuth 2.0. I'm done. Which means if they have the same OAuth flow, that means that I will have to refactor my code. So then one function will exist that will fetch both of them. <sighs> I'm taking a bit of a break. Not because I'm stressed, but because I need to admire this. <clears throat> okay, so I'm holding my hand up because I got to cover some things, but um, yeah, so far uh, we finished this. I am really tired and I just, oh, here we go here. We can sign up with Google, right? And then we can add TikTok account. I've showed you guys in the last video and it works. <laughs> Instagram account. In which you need to be a registered test user for now to enter your data in. And then after this flow, <clears throat> so we're logged in, we're going to get an authorization code, which then we will exchange for an access token. Uh, but again, I am very tired today. I think I got to end this earlier than usual. Again, thank you guys for watching. I'm glad that you guys are excited in this journey as I am. But uh, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep trying and um, I'm going to keep uploading every week. And I'm going to share everything I learn every week. I'll see you next week. Cheers. Thanks for watching.